Hi, my name is Virginia Wooten, and I am in a foreclosure with uh, Fannie Mae, and I've been basically fighting for my home for like three and a half years. It's been a long struggle, and I'm coming up on uh, my last court date this Wednesday coming up, and I'm hoping that the judge gives me more time to stay in the house for at least six months. Right now, for me, it's the best thing is for me to stay in the home as the renter. Eventually, down the line, if I get more time on um, next Wednesday, I would like to be able to purchase my home back at a principal reduction, at a mortgage reduction, interest interest rates down. Bank of America sold my mortgage to Fannie Mae, and that's where it, that's where it started. And Fannie Mae just did not cooperate whatsoever, none whatsoever. So I'm just praying and hoping that there is a solution for me somewhere here. I have been in this house um, coming up on 18 years in March, and I've raised a big family here, and it's a lot of history here. My Nana had this house for, like you said, like 18 years, and out of those 18 years, those the, I had, and many other people had some of the best memories like ever here. He threw some of the best parties and everything. And this is like the best, <laughs> the best place in the world. I love family. I love friends. I love neighbors. I love people. Period. So I like to see the laughter on my children's faces, and especially my grandchildren. My seven kids that I adopted were siblings, and for me, it is a very important thing to keep your family together. I felt that Mel Watt would have had more compassion for the homeowner. I felt like there was enough time that he had been in office that he could have sat down and negotiated with a lot of different banks and got things better than what they are. I would love for him to come and see the actual feelings that people have, the actual hurt on their face. Pain is a very difficult thing to get rid of. The, the, the banks want us to plant corn and then reap peas. What, what are they thinking? We can't do that. We got to really, they, they need to be in our shoes. If we could take a person from um, Bank of America or Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac and bring them into our home for one month and let them see how it is, I think that they would come out with a different um, attitude. They know that we can't afford all this high principal and and mortgages and stuff like that. When the crash came, it wasn't our fault that that crash happened. And the people that were just on the borderline of losing their home, we really crashed real bad. So we need to fix all that. If we can fix things in other countries, we need to fix things right here in this little town of Brockton. <laughs> and that's how I feel, we need to fix it. This is not right for these people to just try and evict her because she is, she always pays one time she hasn't did anything wrong and it seems like they're the ones who not who aren't communicating and doing the right thing not my nana the american dream to me is being shot down because half the time we don't even have a place to live at to start our dream somewhere if we're being taken out of our homes where can we start a dream at where can we give our children at night time the dream that things are going to be okay you always have a fighting chance, no matter what. You don't always have to just stand for the minimum. You can go better. Just fight, fight for your right to be free.